Let's fucking record. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Colin Austin Alternative News Podcast, whatever we decide to name this thing. That, wasn't, that wasn't bad. All right. I like yeah. the way that rolled. My name's yeah. Cole Strasburg. Austin McKenzie. And as you can see, we got the video back. Yeah, well, we, dude, yeah. We, so we're using a GoPro right now because our other video camera crapped out and the GoPro frame just kills me. Yeah. It looks we, horrible. We shot that first one, saw the, like the fish lens sort of thing, and we were like, Ah, we got to get a new camera. Got a new camera. Didn't work out for us. So yeah. we're back to the GoPro. Back to the GoPro. We're going to invest a little more in a better camera. Uh, so just bear with us. Bear, with, bear with us with for us. the time being. But go ahead and kick us off here, Austin. Uh, Myanmar, 100 people dead. 100? By the military. By the military. Yeah, it was like a military coup. They're um, upset right now in Myanmar because the military thinks the democratically elected government cannot control or like do a good job pretty much and so the military just took over and now they're killing everybody that protests pretty much so is this related to the killing that we talked about a few weeks yes. ago with the 18 dead and all the attacks in february and whatnot yeah so, so this has all still, been because it's still of the continuing military. yeah jesus yeah so i didn't read into it a whole lot the, the last time we talked about this i just saw that like oh man some people got shot I didn't know it was completely just because the military pulled a coup and was just like, you know, the government sucks. Let's uh, run this run this bad boy. Yeah, they were like, well, we, we don't think you're doing a very good job, so we, we shall take over. And so is it just kind of like a, hey, this has gone too far, pull the plug, start shooting? Or, like, how? why did they start shooting? Why did it take this long before they just... I, Open fire. I, I could not tell you, to be honest. I don't know. Military dudes are probably sitting here. They're like, ah, oh, how do people like do this every day? Control people. And then they're like, fuck it. Just start shooting everybody. <laughs> you know, could you imagine if that's what happened here in the U S on January 6th, when they all started like trying to storm the Capitol, Dude, could you imagine if they were just like, Hey, national guard, Come on in and open fire, and then they just started just like laying waste to people. You know how yeah. insane, or even like not on the January sixth one, just like any of the riots that happened last year. Could you imagine if like the government just came in and said, "All right, just lay waste." Or the military, yeah, or yeah, yeah, sorry, the military. Yeah, I don't. It's different for me. I feel I I hate to use the word like we're more civilized than people in Myanmar because obviously they're humans too. But like, yeah. I just feel like we, that wouldn't happen here. It just it would happen in a small country like Myanmar, but like you think the, our in the United States of America, you are not gonna go like the military's not gonna randomly be like, "Yep, screw you guys, we're gonna take over." Like, yeah, our government sucks, and like some things need to change, but I just don't see the military like coming We've in. We've progressed and, <laughs> too far. Yeah, I just don't see the military coming in and like just popping everybody off. So now let me ask you then, do you feel like Mexico is a company or not company country? It's a little early. I'm sorry. It's I've never usually awake so we, before. We 11 have this battle every time this guy wakes up at like noon every day and he's like, oh, it's early. Poopy. It's 11 o'clock. Like, dude. What? Anyway, do you think Mexico is a country that would be capable of doing something like that? A country that's so close to the United States yet. So some people look at it as like not progressed as far as we are democratically still a little not quite third world if you know what i mean but not quite first world i so guess are you saying that their military would just take over the government well i'm just saying do you think that that's something that would be do you think would be possible so close to the u.s no no knowing knowing us as a country we always got to get in other people's business so Fair. if it was like if it was Canada or Mexico, our immediate neighbors where like their government or military were trying to fuck their own people over, like I'm sure we would be the first, you know, country, first to jump in, first to be like, all right, that's enough. Stop this. Yeah. So how long do you think this is going to go before the U.S. jumps into Myanmar? We're, we're not going to jump in. You don't think so? No, I don't. I don't know who's going to jump in, but it's 
Unless it gets to a point where, like, the military just literally starts slaughtering everybody. I don't really see, like, there's got to be somebody that comes in or some some group in Myanmar that comes in and stops it because, yeah, I just don't, I don't see it. I think, looking back on the statement that I just asked, do you think that we're going to go in there? It's, as a, as a, our country? Yeah. No. 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 I'm just saying, reflecting back on that, as I ask it, I kind of realize it's already gone gone on this long and we haven't said anything. Probably not going to unless it gets much, much worse. Well, we got our own shit to deal with. That's true. You know, we got our own issues to, we got a president falling up the stairs Dude. on a helicopter. Oh my God. It was fun. I was that could happen to anyone. I know, okay? I know, I know, I know, I know. Pops, Pops was talking to me about it. He was like, "All right, dude, you know how many people have like fell, and you always have cameras on you." Like, think of how many people do that. Like, yeah. how often that happens on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, I just think it's funny because he's got well, of uh, he's got seventy. He's such a speculation for the country, right, and everyone yeah. so so much ridicule is like even so much as it's like when Trump tried drinking that glass of water, and he was like. He used two hands, and everyone was like, look how old this motherfucker's getting. He Easy. can't hold a glass of water with one hand. Yeah, and he's using two hands, yeah. Well, it's like, well, dude, was, come on. My buddy was telling me he was uh, outside working. He was listening to the radio or something, and they had Biden's uh, speech going. Mm-hmm. It was like 25 minutes of just like, uh, uh, uh. And he was like stuttering the whole time and, and taking pauses, and I was like, well, I, I feel like it's a joke at this point. Well, I mean, I would have to listen to the speech to not be like able to just like any of our pre- like right now the presidency is it's just like a huge who can make the most memes about the next president. Yeah, I feel like the last president that we had that was actually presidential, like good solid for us. Yeah, it's kind of like Obama. I mean. He was the last one that I could say the world really looked at as, like, he is the president of the United States. Everyone looked at Trump as, like, he's just this goofball that yeah. won the popularity contest. And now everybody's looking at Biden as, like, oh, he's just the one that's coming in to save the world after this douche won the popularity contest. Yeah. You know, and this guy's going to croak and then Kamala's going to be in charge. Like, that's that's what I've been hearing from everybody. Do you think he's going to croak? I mean... Bet better's odds. Pro- okay, honestly, probably not. Yeah, I don't just think because so. I mean, yeah, he's what eighty one, eighty two years old, something like that. He's up there. My grand, my grandpa just turned eighty three, I think, earlier this year, and he is alive and kick. Like he's outside splitting wood, riding horses every single day. Like, okay, you're, he's a you're working gra- man. Mister C is way different than. I mean, uh, yes, I I Biden. know he's way different, but that just goes to show that like. You there still got are, more years. Yeah, there yeah. are eighty something year olds out there that like. Yeah, they've got ten more years on them. You know. Do you think our government pulls some like old Roman shit where they like poison our leader? Oh, <laughs> no way! <laughs> I was no watching, way. I was watching uh, the movie Alexander with um, Colin Farrell. All right, Angelina Jolie. It was actually pretty good. I don't think I've ever seen it. It was like made in two thousand four. It was like when they were making all like the Troy movies with like Brad Pitt and like Okay, I was gonna know, ask, like, is it like Alexander the Great? Yeah, Alexander the Makes Great, sense. you know, like Troy, like Braveheart. Like yeah. it was in the time when they were making all those movies, but um yeah, watching that and they poisoned Alexander and then at the end one of the dudes who's like telling the life story, he was like, Yeah, we just had to do it and the slave that was like writing the story for him like looked up. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, you what? You killed your friend? And he was like, we had to. Like, Alexander just kept wanting to move everywhere, and we just wanted to settle down. And I'm like, you know, I could just see us, like, our uh, people in office are like, yep, poison Biden. You know what's Get crazy him. is, in my head, I sit here and think, this is another one of those things that, like, nah, we're far too progressed to, like, do something as crazy as poison someone in office. As or, our like, leaders, yeah. As our leader. But then, literally the last year look over at russia alexei navalny or whatever his name is mm-hmm. they tried poisoning him because he's the biggest putin opposition yeah, right he's now. like the biggest threat to putin and everybody supports him and like they are a progressed country they are it, i mean neck and neck with the u.s they just have a little bit 
different uh, lifestyle over there, I guess you would say. A little different. Very, very strict. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like you got to wake up, go to work, and then lights out at like 10. Russia's communist, aren't they? I don't know. God, no, I feel no, like. No, 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 no. I it's feel like, like that's something we should know off the top of our heads. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're communists, though. That's that's a quick Google search real quick. Do you? Okay, if they were communist, we would know about it. Well, I mean, like, you can be communist in 2021. Yeah, but it'd be a different kind of communism than the, than the Stalin era. <laughs> God, why isn't this just a quick Google search? Okay. Oh, here we go. Today, the existing communist states in the world are China, Cuba, Laos, and Vietnam. So, obviously, all Asian <laughs> countries. Cuba. And Cuba. And Cuba. <laughs> but, like, dude, Cuba's kind of a part of us, don't you think? From yeah. From all the shit that's, you know, all the shit that's been going on. You know what's crazy is Cuba's the place that you can go down, and they still have cars that are, like, just every car down there is from like the 60s and 70s or 50s or whatever yeah. because they haven't had not a lot of trading going on between well, yeah. Cuba and other countries. But I mean, like, I I knew this is like kind of a, a known fact that if you go down there, a lot of the cars down there are old cars just because they didn't they haven't traded like you said traded with us or anyone for the last X amount of years, mm -hmm. and so they don't just have nice new stuff down like they don't just have a new. 2020, 2021. Yeah. I don't know. Kia Soul, like I got sitting outside in the driveway. A rat car. Whoa. It's a hamster car. A hamster car. Got a thousand hamster power in that. But, anyways, so using um, new soap. New soap. Dude, okay. So I was using this soap. Scrubbing the boys with some new soap. Scrubbing the boys with a new soap. I was using this soap, and the stuff that the girls were suing, like Dove over. Uh, cause they were losing their hair, like their hairlines were receding and everything. What? So I was like, oh, that sucks. Like, <laughs> you know, but Maybe you know, don't use but girls have millions of options. I feel like <clears throat> when it comes to soap, don't you think? When it comes to anything cosmetic. Yes. Yeah. Like, and that's fair to say, like we just, boys don't have a lot to choose from. It's like men's ax or men's old spice shampoo. You got Dove Men plus care and Irish Spring for so, bar soap. So that's okay, dude, that's literally what I use, right? And that that Dove Men's, mm -hmm. the Suave or su Suave or what? Is it Suave? I think Suave and Dove <laughs> are two different companies. No, nah, cuz it says Dove and then Suave at the bot like right underneath it. But anyway, oh, it's probably okay. Suave or something. All right. I don't know. But uh, dude, that has the same stuff in it that the in the girl soap as well. So I was losing my hairline as well, and I was like, man, I kind of felt it coming. Hold on, do you wash your hair with a bar of soap? No, with like the sh men shampoo. Oh, oh, no. okay. I thought we were talking about a bar of soap, but I'm like, you're washing your hair with a bar of soap? No, why the fuck would I wash? No, oh, I don't know. Continue. Okay, <clears throat> but yeah, so I was like, oh fuck that soap. And our buddy Luke, mm. he was using the same soap because he had mentioned it at his place a couple of weeks ago. He's like, "Yeah, my hairline's been like receding." And I'm like, "Damn, dude, really? Like you've had a lot of hair." And he was like, "We're in our twenties. What the fuck?" Right? And he was like, "Yeah, I don't know why." And then like his girlfriend told me it was because of the soap he was using. So I <clears throat> decided to use new soap. I bought Doctor Squash. Dr. Squatch. You see all those ads on oh, like yeah. Facebook for like men. They're like long haired dude flips hold, his hair. Hold on, I got this. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Are you using dish soap to <laughs> wash your hair? It's like the most bland soap ever. Try new Dr. Squatch. Yep, yep, yep. Those are the ads. And so like I used it and I forgot mom got um a bar in like our stockings for my brother and I. Okay. And I found it the other day. I was like, I'm going to give it a try before my product comes in, like the stuff. Brown. World's difference. Really? World's difference. It's so much better using, it's it's like different. So you tossed out your old shampoo that you used. Yeah, I it didn't use like the old bar soap you get at like Target. So did you buy, does Dr. Squatch, because I've seen their bar soap advertisements, do they also have like shampoo yeah, I got so, like a bundle where it's like shampoo because obviously I'm not going to use the same shampoo where I'm losing my hair. Well, yeah, no shit. Like, <laughs> bro. You know, so I bought the shampoo and 
but the bar so I don't know if I like the bay rum. That's the flavor that your mom got you. That's the one that my mom randomly got me. Kind of smell like I just showered in like Malibu. Oh man. <laughs> like Matt, like I just dumped a bottle Dude, of Dude, you scrub all over you me. scrub yourself up in some of that and then go to the bar. Woo! It's like a I smell like a coconut. <laughs> But yeah, well, and yet, well, you always see the girls on the Doctor Squash commercials are like, "Ah, oh, I've oh, I can never stop smelling oh. my man." You're like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Like, <laughs> I love the ones where they go and they talk to a bunch of random girls on the street, and they're like, "Does this? What would you think if your man uses that?" And they're just like, <laughs> "Oh, if my man used this, we would make love every single night." And it's like, I don't think. Any bar of soap could make any lady feel that way. What the hell? You're like a dude that you see the dude in the background. He's like, you're yeah, like, yeah, you're like, get yeah, out of like, here. What? What bar of soap do I need to use? Right. Where is that? How do get I get some? Here. How much is it? A thousand dollars a bar? Give me two. Yeah. If the ladies will feel that way about <laughs> me, next, give me two. It's my next paycheck. Yeah, Jesus. Spend on two bars, bars of soap. Do you ever notice how advertising, just like that, advertising for women's products is. It feels like normal advertising to me. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, we have this product. Like, come try it out. But when it comes to dudes' products, it's always this. It's like, is this your product? You ain't need that shit. Try our product. Yeah, and then like, every dude's like, damn, that was badass. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, yeah. do you have this? <laughs> Throws it in the wood chipper. You ain't need that shit. Try our shit. Right. The new Dr. Squatch bar soap. It's Cause like because you, you got girls like uh, advertising and they're like, unts, unts, unts. and oh, then yeah. like girls are like, try our new product. Unts, I unts, think it's unts. funny because you'll see like women's cosmetics and it'll be like, yeah. look at how beautiful <laughs> it can make you, darling. New. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Which makes sense because Cover like you got you got to like adapt to your audience. And, yeah. Like, obviously, women. Are, appeal more to like hair flipping and yeah you know, look at my lips and my eyes and my you know look at all that stuff dudes are just like yeah show me the toughest shit you got show me the cool stuff guns bah, 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 bah. Yeah. oh there's a <laughs> the finger point oh man there's the finger guns yeah, again. yeah. No, yeah. but that's with um you ever see the manscape stuff Dude, I've got Manscaped. That thing's the shit. Okay, so you got it? Oh, I have the Manscaped 3.0 trimmer. The yeah, lawn the, the lawn mower. Oh. Dude, that thing. Okay, I was going to make fun of it, but if it actually works, like Oh, you can make fun of it all you want. I'll I'll I'm sticking by it though. But it works? Oh, I could Dude. Nice. With my eyes closed. All I'm right, mowing the well, lawn I'm not, not going to do closed. that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's how confident I am though. You ever, I Damn, mean, you, really? would, you would never want to go down there with your eyes closed and like possibly nick something with that. I'm so confident. I'll just be like standing in the shower. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Done. <laughs> it's like some Picasso waving right there. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but yeah, it's uh but that goes back to like the dude advertising because I, when I see the manscape mm -hmm. um, commercials, they're like, do you cut your balls with like, Scissors and it's like, bro, who the fuck? Right. Who the who fuck trims goes with scissors? Who goes to Safeway and gets the fucking colored like the right. scissors you used to get in second grade? Jesus, and the, the like, ones that are like this long, yeah. or like the the shavers that looks like you'd buy at a disgusting gas station for like oh, thirty yeah. cents. It's like, bro, why would no dude would shave like that? But yeah, no, that's that's cool. That cents it, for a three pack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're it's, like, fuck. You're like, mm. Single blade. Get fucking herpes <laughs> yeah. on me. Get these refurbished razors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, now now they always uh, put the oil in there. Oh They're yeah. Like here's a little bottle of oil to always wash your blades and stuff. It's like, bro, I. Dude, so I ain't of, reusing these gas station razors. Get the fuck out of yeah, here with that. Yeah, and plus, that'd be a lot of work. Yeah. Like, you're telling me I got to attach the bl razor blades, get them out, cut the shit out of my fingers four or five times just to clean the fuckers. One of my favorite things about the uh, the Manscaped commercials, advertisements, is is that they're always like, your balls will appreciate you. Or your balls will thank you so much for mm -hmm. buying these razors. And I'm just like, my balls thank me for a lot more than just buying these damn clippers, all right? Right. Get out of here with that shit. Well, that's why it's so expensive, too. 
when you look at like Manscaped. When I looked at Manscaped, dude, it was like I was like, damn. Oh yeah, the bundle I bought was like a hundred bucks, and I yeah, got. Oh my gosh! But think, I got uh, the trimmer with it. It was a hundred bucks, but I got it the trimmer. I got a little like travel bag, which I put all of my shaving needs in there now, so it's actually kind of convenient. Um, a couple mats, like floor mats, for when you're shaving yep, and you yep, want to keep yep. it yeah, in understand. one area. I understand. <laughs> um, I got, like, ball deodorant. I'm not even kidding. It's a spray that says ball deodorant on it, and it makes you Do you ball- think girls, like, get weirded out if you put ball deodorant on you? I don't know. And the, the way they advertise it, it makes it seem like girls are going to flock to me. Normal, so, yeah. yeah. No, nah, let's, let's settle, down, settle down on the flocking part. But hey, that's what they say. So I put it on every day, morning, afternoon, and night. Well, that's like the whole Dr. Squash thing. That's why, it, like, the thing with dudes, it's like, oh, the one catcher that they try and get is, like, women will be attracted to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you do this, if you use that, Every girl will want to smell you, touch you, be around you, like kiss you, anything, you know, like all that stuff. And it's just like, dude, you cannot have some boy, like say kid games all the time, doesn't eat healthy. Like yeah. some random dude who's like, oh man, if I start using a clean, an organic soap or if I shave my balls with, you know, a certain shaver, it's going to make girls flock to me. That's I think that's totally like dumb of dudes commercials to do that you know what's so funny is as a society we're all about like men not being creepy perverts and equality and all that and i'm all for everything like that like equality blah 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 but on the flip side all men advertising is like exactly what you just said either check out this cool product manly shit or women are gonna love you if you do this, the ladies are going to flock to you, like I said earlier. And I think that if they advertise things the same way for women, but reversed, like, mm-hmm. oh, if you use this product, guys aren't going to catcall you and guys are going to leave you alone and not stare at your ass or something like that. Women's products sales would blast through the roof, like the total opposite. Guys, if you use this, it'll attract women sales go through the roof. I think that if women's sales advertising was like, women use this and you'll deter men from being creeps towards you, women's sales would go through the roof. But there's no product out there that would But because society has made I think the 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 current man a predator. Like and obviously a lot of men have made, you know themselves predators. Themselves predators and those claims are true, but like as a society, I feel like walking out as a man today, like people look at us as predators. Mm. Some. Some. I'm not saying all, but as a society, I think people look at men more predatory than like. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just in general, men are generic, generally speaking. Like what's, okay, <laughs> what what do you think when you walk by a dude? Like, just some random dude you don't like know. Like, I'm walking down the street and some guy just passes me. <laughs> sure, at the mall or something. Or at like, the mall, yeah, whatever. What's your first thought? Uh, Depends on how in the moment I am. If I'm, in like, doing my own shit, I just kind of, like, don't think anything. If I'm people watching, let's just put it that way, because I love people watching and yeah. I see someone pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, And he, like, lo- and he looked at you. Like, you guys make eye contact when you pass each other, and then you just continue on. I guess it would have to be toward, like, what his reaction is. Like, if it's one of those, we glance at each other, and then we both glance away, probably wouldn't think much of it. Just whatever, this guy's going about to stay. But if it's one of those, like, he glances at me, and then he, like, tries to do the stare down as I walk by, (laughs) then I generally let him do the stare down, watch him stare me down, and then I kind of do one of these. And I look back at him like, what a cuck. What the fuck are you staring at me for like that? But so, the, but I think that's what a lot of people, like a lot of women think. When they walk by dudes and dudes stare at them, it's not just the occasional, like, we look at dudes when we, glan- when we like, walk well, it's by. it's totally different for women. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, we, like, as a society, we've made it to, like, more, like, men are more predatory than they used to be. 
But when at when like dudes are walking by each other, we don't think that. We're just like, oh, just another douche. Well, that's or just another, you know, like guy walking by or something. But like women walk by and they see the same glare and they're like, oh, this guy's literally just thinking about like awful shit probably. And you're like, nah, I just literally looked at you and walked away. Well, that's because when guys stare at other guys, they're not thinking about how many different ways they can fuck that guy. True. That's but, the caveat here. But, I don't, the, but see, that's the problem. Is I feel like you're going towards a direction where you think most men just, like, every time they look at a chick, they're like, what could I do? I mean, not most men, but I'm sure there's a large, a uh, vast... Pro- probably. Vast pool of... I feel like when I walk by a chick, it's like, oh, she's got, like, a weird hair bun. Oh, yeah, there's definitely... Thing going on, or, like, she's got 17 piercings, and I... Couldn't even get one piercing, you know. It'd be like stuff so like that. So you just that. like judging everybody? No, as no, you I'm walk not. By no, them. I'm not judging. I'm just seeing like how people are different. And that's like, fair. Like if I saw one chick with like 17 piercings, and I was like, damn. Like I thought to myself, I was like, I couldn't even get one. Like that's pretty like brave that she has 17. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it probably wasn't 17, but it, it looked like it was. It was like more than 10. <laughs> I think generally speaking, the reason that men are more quote predatory is just because we're this is gonna sound super sexist but we're generally the ones men are generally like the bigger scarier looking of the two sexes like you don't find a woman walk down the street that's gonna be like six foot five 250 pounds every single day that could just be like yeah, I could take you and do whatever the fuck I want with you. Like, oh, that would terrify me. If if a woman came up to me that size and was like, I could do whatever the fuck I want to you, I would be like, please, for the love of God, no. Just please <laughs> don't. Like, I am terrified. Like, think of that. It's uh, dude, just I, like reverse the, reverse the rules. Shit my pants. Generally, ladies are slightly smaller than men yeah, are yeah. and it's a easier for men mm-hmm. larger men to physically control smaller people yeah. and so yes i think that's why men are definitely labeled more of the creeps in society because they just are basically and i'm sure there are some women out there that are like some psycho killer creepy perverts oh, fuck but, yeah. but they don't get the chance to oh, express bro, yeah. that you already know Oh, yeah, I, trust know. me, I do already, already know. know. But they don't quite so much get the chance to express that because if they did, it would just be like, no, get the fuck off me. Like, that's not that big of a deal. And so that's why it's not so scary for men to, like, walk down the street and yeah. pass someone. And that's why I think that there's probably a lot of girls out there because I know most women in this world have some sort of sexual harassment stories or sexual oh. abuse or more often than not, and I hate to say it because, like, I've got a sister. I'm sure you've got a sister, don't you? Yeah, I've got a, a sister and three stepsisters. Yeah, like, we have all we all have women in our life that we love so much, and it's just terrible to think about that kind of thing, but that's why that kind of thing is a, popped up, yeah. Yeah, is a thing because it's like women walk down the street, and that's why I kind of explained that as I did earlier. Women walk down the street and might go, like, oh, what's that guy thinking about doing to me? Or like, oh, what's that guy thinking about right now? Whereas guys walk down the street and what's usually going through in a guy's head is left foot, right foot, breathe in, breathe out, left foot, right foot. Uh, Don't stare at that girl. Okay, keep walking, keep walking. Don't stare at that girl. Yeah, basically, and that's generally the most. And then when guys slip up, it's kind of like, okay, left foot, right foot. Holy ass. Oh, shit, don't stare at that girl. Oh, breathe in, breathe out. Where am I going again? What time is it? Yeah, like <laughs> what time guys is it? are a you little just more. Just looked s- at the time thirty seconds yeah, before. Guys all that are a happened. little too simple for that kind of shit, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. I get. Do you ever get weirded out? Like, if a girl's walking by, do you like automatically turn away? I do that shit in public. I okay. if a girl walks by me, I I'll, I'll be like, yeah, I'm looking at chips now. Like, I wasn't here for chips, but now I'm looking. I at chips. don't do exactly that, but since so there's this page that i follow on reddit it's called 2x chromosomes and it's basically just all about women's stories all about women like just women's stories with anything positive negative rape stories sex rape Ah. stories sexual harassment stories like i can't do that then there's also the stories of like oh my 
husband, boyfriend, whatever, is an amazing person and he understood my womanly needs and blah, blah, blah. And I hope that everyone out there can find someone as awesome as this. So, like, it's good to see the good and the bad in both sides of that. And because I've started following that page and, like, being more intuitive and, like, reading into the way that women view this world, basically, I try to be more conscientious of those kind of things. So if a chick, like, if a smoking, good-looking girl walks by that's like... Whew, that's what I'm talking about. The first thing that pops into my head isn't, uh, don't stare at that chick. Damn, she's got a nice ass. It's just kind of like, just keep doing what I'm doing because that's just another person, you know? Yeah. I, well, I, I don't like make it super obvious or weird when I'm at the store, but like if I'm walking down the chip aisle, I'll just kind of be looking off at chips. You're as, like, as try I'm to make it a by. point to not stare at her. Pretty, yeah, because again, I don't want to make it seem like, I'm creeping on people if I give them a glance or something, you know. That's true. The way I look at it, though, also is it's funny because guys try not to stare at girls or creep girls out. But if a smoking, good-looking guy walks down an aisle, two girls could just stand there and be like, mm, shit, look at that yeah, hot piece they, of meat they, walking by. You ever, you ever been whistled at? No. No? No. Are you kidding? I'm not that good looking. One, one time. One time. One time. Oh, damn. Kind of, but you'd think that, like, roles reverse, like, dudes would be like, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, I got whistled yeah. at. I kind of felt a little disgusted. Did you feel violated <laughs> a little bit? I felt like I was just a piece of meat. Where were I you? By. I was at college, and uh, we were in Ellensburg. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was walking down in Fred Meyer, down, like, the alcohol aisle. Oh, shit. Gra- grabbing a case of beer, then two, two chicks whistled, and I was like, ah. I feel I feel disgusted. <laughs> Get like out a, of here, you just just a piece pervert. of meat. Yeah. Oh, so now man. now I know how how Okay. That being said, have you ever before then had you ever whistled at a girl before? No. Never whistled, but I've had like I've been like, damn, that chick was hot. Well I Are you saying have I ever openly said something when a girl has walked by? I guess no. I guess what I'm saying is, have you ever made any sort of audio cue to make a girl know, such as a whistle, like, oh, I'm checking you out? No. No? That's t- I think that's totally, like, disrespectful. Okay, that's fair. I was going right. to I was gonna say, if you had whistled at girls before and that. And then I make it seem like it was. I was disgusted. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, had no, you no, done no. it since then? No. Okay, that's fair. I was no. going to say, how is that's like the pot calling the kettle black there, Austin. Now, now have I, like, seen someone hot? And then with like when my buddy and I go to a store and then we come out and I sit and we get in the car and I fucking give them the old like one of like one of those. Yeah, I've done that. Well, shit. And everyone does. Yeah, that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure ladies get back in the car and they go, did you see that guy in there that looked like uh, <laughs> uh, Aquaman, Jason Momoa or whatever, yeah, Justin, yeah. whatever his name it's is, Jason. Jason Momoa. Oh yeah. my God. What right. I would do to sit on his face. Right, yeah. Like, I'm sure they do that, too. Just weird thinking about it. I wonder, because guys are probably more like, oh, man, she's hot. Well, that's because you know what it's like to be a guy and be like, oh, dude, I'd blah, 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 do this to that. Like, I've hung around, like, friends that are girls, and they've talked about, like, when they've seen a hot dude, and they're just like, oh, yeah, like, Mm -hmm. that dude is hot. Like, he's going to be my baby daddy for my future D1 athlete. And I'm just like... Uh, you guys like really get uh, you get into it. Yeah, you guys get really <laughs> really detailed with it, <laughs> dude. It's so funny. So being a bartender at work, I love it and I hate it. It's just because it's like a dead end job. I know I'm not going to be there forever. But relating to this, I work with ninety nine percent women in the front of the building there as the bartender, and I stand in one spot every day and I just do my job. Everyone's moving around me. So I basically get to hear all the conversations that are happening yeah. throughout the restaurant. And it's so funny because I work with a lot of young girls that are like 19 to 22 ish that are like still kind of immature, blah, 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 whatever. But then I work with some older girls that are like uh, later 20s to like early 30s, a little more mature. 
And they are the ones that are actually the most funny because they come by and they start having their conversations between each other. Oh, my husband or blah, blah, blah. Because they're a little older. They're married. They have kids or whatever. And it's like, man, don't you hate it when you're getting ready in the morning and your husband comes in and he just tries tries to, like, start feeling you. And you're like, no, stop it. I'm getting ready. And I get to hear about all of those kind of stories and shit like that. Oh, man. The things that men would not even imagine women are thinking holy mother of god i've had like there's an attractive guy that comes in and sits down somewhere and then these two girls that are early 30s start talking about like man i exactly what you said man i would let him have my kids or i would (laughs) i would let him tear off my server apron and blah 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 i'm just like and the thing What's so funny to me is they're talking amongst themselves and they don't realize that, like, Cole has to make their alcoholic drink that gets sent out there because he's the bartender. So I'm, like, literally standing there just, like, muddling a drink, adding some stuff to it, just (laughs) watching them, just listening to them the whole time. And they'll be, like, standing there talking to each other and, oh, they'll start giggling and then they'll both look back and I'm just, like, staring at them. And they're, like, oh, (laughs) They just start laughing. I'm like, you fucking women. Yeah. You women are just as crazy Vile and as men. As horned up as us men are. Little Jesus. animals, it's dude. insane. Yeah, no, it's- you never think about it, but it's like, damn, you guys all like pick at us for having some dirty thoughts and this and then you men are perverted and this and that. Oh, Women are just as bad as men are, if not worse. The things that I have heard coming through my restaurant are, like, jaw-dropping. Holy shit. You think I'm gross for saying I want this chick to sit on my face. I think that's disgusting because you just told me what you want stuck in what place and you want him to do with this with that and something else and then take it Oh, man. I'm not even going to get, get get into more detail. Well, I, I feel like everybody's hypocritical because dudes will say that women are worse at it, and then women will say dudes are worse at it. I think men it. are just more open about it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, being single, like, I don't really care because I don't have to, you know, like, as a dude, I don't have to really impress. Yeah. feel the need to impress a chick. That's true. You know, but I feel like... Do, I just think... Do you th- think that dudes... In today's society, like, try to be perfect, like, way too perfect. No, right. no. I think there's some that, okay, I think there's, like, a spectrum here. Because you've got, like, simps on one end that are trying to be, like, oh, you're my goddess. Like, I will do anything for you and buy you anything for nothing in return. Like, these neck beardy weirdo, uh, incel, simpy kind of, like, those sort of losers. That was a that was a good description. Well, I mean, like you think of it, you got you got guys that try to be normal and then they're just like, Yeah, I'm just like a normal dude. I respect women, blah, 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 like give and take sort of relationship. You do things for me, I do things for you. Like that's how it is. Mm-hmm. And that's like what I think what most probably women want in this world. A normal dude that's not a fucking nut job that's gonna beat the shit out of him. But they don't want someone that goes so far as to like simp the fuck out about them and be like, I'll do anything for you and worship the ground you walk on. Cause at that point it's like, look at this spineless loser. That's just like, ugh, I can walk all over this little shit. Yeah. For how do you feel? But how are you personally about it? How am I? Cause yeah. I mean, everyone likes to think that they're normal and everyone likes to think that what they do is like the best that they can be doing. So I don't know. The way I look at like relationships and myself and all that kind of stuff in general is I've been pretty much single. Like I haven't actually dated anyone in eight years, seven years. Can't remember. I mean, I like I've had some flings, like a fling here and there. And so it's been nice. I mean, (laughs) yeah, it's great being single and all you do, whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want. Yeah. But there comes a time when you're just kind of like, like I remember what it's like to have a girlfriend or like when I had that fling with that one girl, it was super intense. I was like, man, 
I love the shit out of this girl, and this feels wonderful. No, don't say that. Bro. Oh, get the fuck out of here. We I all love, have feelings. I love her. Bro, Shut you did up. not love a girl you had a fling with. Shut up. <laughs> you did not. What was it, like a two-week thing, and you were like, oh, she's the greatest. I, I think that's where men fall right there. That's a you know this girl, you asshole. I know. A little, <laughs> little simpy. Get the little, fuck <laughs> little simpy right there. Okay. Well, you just answered your own question. Uh, Apparently, yeah. I'm a little fucking well, simpy. I didn't, okay, I thought you were going to give me something good, but you just kind of, you're like, yeah, Ooh, I love this girl. Yeah. And no, I, was like, so, uh, I don't know. I fucking, my thing is now is like, I just don't give a shit. Like, you like me? Cool. You don't like me? Cool. You really right. like me? All right. Cool. Maybe <laughs> something's here. I might really yeah. like you. You don't really like me? Fuck it. Then don't be in my life. I yeah. don't really give a shit, man. Right. Shout out to mom. She kind of made that difficult for me because, <laughs> like, most girls are like, well, I don't really want, like, an asshole for a dude. And it's like, man, it's not that, like, I'm an asshole. I just kind of tell people the reality of things. I just tell things. them how it is. Yeah. Like, and. Some people just don't. They just want to be told what they want to hear. And I, my mom just made that hard, man. It's like my mom would always be super honest with me. I think part of my problem is that I don't, is because, like, I really don't give a shit about a lot of things. Yeah. And so I'm super laid back in that aspect. Like, you want to kick back at home and do nothing sure let's kick back at home and do nothing you want to go out and have an eventful day all day fuck it let's go out and have an eventful day like i don't care you want to fly to vegas tomorrow cool let's go tonight like i am fly- i have to figure out how to take off work but yeah <laughs> no, like i am very much fly by the seat of my pants and i think because of that that deters a lot of i think that might deter a lot of ladies just because it's like I want a guy that's a little more stern, maybe a little more backbone, a little more decision making. And so it's like like the <laughs> the best man and women argument. What do you want to have for dinner tonight, babe? Fuck. Don't even get me oh, started. Oh, you go ahead and pick. I had uh, that last night. Okay, how about we go to uh fuck, I don't know. We'll just start naming restaurants. Olive Garden. No, I don't want Italian. Okay, how about we go Let's get go to some Mazatlan? Yeah, Mazatlan. I don't want Mexican. How about we go to Trappers? I don't want sushi. Okay, uh, fuck. Red Robin, <laughs> just some classic American food. No, I don't want a burger. Dude, oh, it starts fuck. getting to a point where the only options are fast food and shit, and you're like, hey. You want to go to Pizza Hut and get a fucking pizza? And then, nah, I don't want pizza. I feel bloated afterwards. Yeah. Like, then where the fuck? fuck did you pick i'm gonna make one of those spinning wheels i saw this on reddit it was actually yeah it was like a little spinning wheel they made with like different restaurants and then like the chick gets two spins or three spins or i don't know how many fucking spins you choose and it chooses it the worst part is is like what if it lands on three shitty spots and you're just like all right well Well, looks like we're going somewhere shitty tonight right this is this has literally happened to me. What I what I was just explaining, how about we go here now? Okay. Well, why don't you fucking choose where we go? But you're so good at it. I think you should choose. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I just named four places and you said no to everyone. Right, right. But you're so creative. You're always coming up with good restaurants. That's because it's the same seven restaurants that's within driving distance to us, for the love of God. Like, we go over this every time. Hey, finishing touch. Well, why don't you just pick? Yeah. You're like, and then you pick, and then you get to the place, and you're like, was that like, did you have a good dinner? And then they're like, yeah, I would have much rather had, like, sushi. And you're like, (gasps) I offered sushi an hour and a half ago. Right. Well, I wasn't feeling it an hour and a half ago. I I wasn't hungry for sushi then. I know the feeling (laughs) all too well. (laughs) Just like. mm, mm. Mm. I wanted something a little heavier than sushi, but now I thought sushi sounded great. That's because you just fucking ate something and now you're not that hungry. And sushi is lighter. It sounds wonderful. (laughs) It's like, oh, man. So, well, but, good episode today, yeah, my man. Yeah, let's wrap it up on that hot note wrap because I'm up, I'm starting to get pissed off thinking about those things. I'm getting hungry. 
Uh, yeah, and hungry. Yeah, that's true. Home today. Dude, I just fucking, I woke up like right before this. I'm still, I don't yeah. even know where I'm at. Well, well you're in our <laughs> uh, bedroom slash studio. Hey, no <laughs> one needs to know this is a bedroom. It's our studio. It's my bedroom. It's a dope bedroom. It's the, it's the Mac pad. That wasn't bad. The Mac pad. Please, for the love of God, <laughs> never call your bedroom the Mac pad the ever Mac again. Pad. <laughs> no. No. It's just a TV. I just watch movies. You want to go Mac on the Mac pad? All right. Making it weird. Yeah. The Mac pad's terrible. You guys have a good rest of your week, and we will see you on the next episode of the Colin Austin Alternative News Podcast. Is that, Peace. What, it, yeah. is that what we're doing? All right. Yeah. Cool. We're piecing out from the Mac pad. Yeah.